Hey everyone, it's Alexia here at AMI Clubwear. Thank you so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel. And today we have a very helpful video for you on how to pose for pictures. And that could be whether you are an aspiring model or just somebody who wants to look better in pictures for social media, whether you're at a wedding or a prom or just in group shots with your friends or especially if you're a person who never likes the way you come out in pictures. I have some really helpful, useful tips for you today, so stay tuned because they're gonna help you, and once you learn them, it's like riding a bicycle, it's gonna be easy breezy, and you'll never forget them. All right, so tip one is eye contact. When you're taking a photo and you're looking into the lens, engage the lens, act like it's a real person. Whatever mood you're trying to convey, whether it's happy or sad or sexy, think that thought and act it through your eyes into the lens. So this goes right into the thought of Tyra's famous smize, which is smiling with your eyes. So if you're trying to look fierce or you're trying to look a little sexy or just you want to look like you're that it girl, all you have to do is keep your mouth relaxed and just ever so slightly squeeze the muscles around your eyes together. You see that? So it's a very seductive look. It's very engaging. And again, that's appropriate for only certain occasions. You don't want to smize for every single group shot or something that's really casual because you're gonna look like you're trying too hard to be super hot. Um, and a lot of you girls don't even have to try, by the way. If you're looking into the distance, say you're doing a photo shoot or you're just trying to create an artistic image, you want to act like you're gazing at something. Um, just imagine anything, a beautiful waterfall, a, a peacock spreading its feathers, like you're in deep thought or something. Again, it's all about the emotion that's coming through your expression. Keep in mind that your eyes are all part of the entire um, surface of your face. I know that sounds kind of funny, but the eyes are only a piece of it. So you want to make sure your face is relaxed or just keeping the whole mood all together. Um, be mindful of the whites of your eyes. So if you are going to look a different direction from the camera, try to keep your eyes not too far from the direction that your nose is pointing. I'm kind of guilty of this because I tend to like want to do this like look back over my shoulder look and it can work depending on the angle of the camera and what I'm actually doing if I'm acting like I'm looking behind me to um, you know model a dress or whatever but you don't want to have like just this all this white of your eyes because then it just looks weird you look like a zombie or something um, also don't like try to make your eyes look bigger you know, it just doesn't translate. So try to find ways to enhance the size of your eyes with makeup. I know that if you line the inner waterline of your eyeball on the bottom um, with white or flesh toned eyeliner, that's gonna enhance the size of your eyes. Um, definitely, we could even do a YouTube tutorial if this is something that you're interested in. Also, if you're in bright light or you're in the sun, you're having a very hard time keeping your eyes open and you're very, very squinty in a photo, um, ask the photographer to count to three, put your face in the direction that you want, make your expression, have them count to three, and when they say three, open your eyes, and then you're gonna have that beautiful wide-eyed shot. All right, so the next tip is to be mindful of your smile and your expression. Once again, posing for a camera lens is more or less like acting, just still acting. So you want to emote the mood through your eyes. You want to keep your face relaxed or actively engage in whatever kind of mood you're trying to express. So if you're happy, give a natural smile. Don't let it be too forced or too fake or cheesy looking because that's not going to photograph well. Um, if you have asymmetries in your face, like maybe one side of your mouth pulls higher than the other, um, if you can't actively control that and make it look natural, you can always just try tilting your face a little bit one way or the other so that the asymmetries aren't so apparent. So I highly suggest that you learn your face. Know what looks good, know what you like, and maybe you can even take some feedback from um, other people that are in the professional modeling and photography industry. They might be able to give you some tips on what they think looks best for your face. So for instance, if you're trying to do a sexy face, know how much of your teeth should be showing that looks good. Um, I had a photographer at one time who kept insisting that I let my jaw hang kind of and like just open my mouth. And I remember feeling so uncomfortable with that and he really, really wanted that. And when I saw the pictures, it really just wasn't me. So practice that. 
everybody can do a certain expression. It's just gonna be what works for you. Again, if you're doing this as part of your job, definitely take the time to practice in the mirror, practice with your cell phone, learn your angles, learn your expressions. Again, keep the uh, muscles in your face as relaxed and natural as possible. And um, if you wanna really do a great job at communicating a mood, just act like you're really doing it guys it's really easy so if i want to look super excited i just can go like but then i want to make sure i'm not like i want to dial this off again that's the ugly pretty that we talked about in our selfie video again tyra Banks, she's like my idol i love her i used to be such a fan of america's next top model and i learned so much from that show i don't watch it anymore i don't even know if they play it but that's where i learned a lot of these tips so tip three is what your body is doing in the photo. So this is where it gets interesting. One thing that I did to learn how to pose for the clothing industry and just bikini modeling and glamour modeling is I literally got Victoria's Secret catalogs and I studied their poses and I looked at clothing websites and then I looked what the models were doing. Yes, it does take some time, but again, um, practice makes perfect, do your studying. Now, if you're just taking a photo um, for a regular life event, um, one good tip that I can give you is to keep your shoulders back, suck in your stomach, meaning don't like hold your breath and stuff, but tense your abdomen, tense your ab muscles, and just kind of, you know, give that like, not statue-like tension in your body, but just to where you're long, lean, make sure that you have a neck, you never want to take a photo where it looks like you don't have a neck. Again, don't, too, don't try too hard to be a giraffe, don't get too much tension in these tendons right here. Um, also, if you're taking a photo from the back, don't do this with your shoulders. Again, my neck disappeared. Um, depending where the photographer is, he, my face could be partially blocked by my shoulder. Drop that shoulder down. It also gives a little bit of attitude with that. Sometimes if you're doing stuff like this, your skin can bend kind of weird. Be mindful of that. Some photographers can Photoshop that out, no problem. Um, what else? Um, again, a three-quarter view is going to be your best bet if you're trying to look lean. So if you're a little bit self-conscious about your tummy area, just try taking it from the three-quarter angle versus a direct side where you might see a pooch or straight on where you feel like you might look kind of wide. And again, they say the camera adds 10 pounds and sometimes I do find that that's the case. Also, be mindful of what your hands are doing in a photograph. It's very easy to be very conscious and aware of what your body is doing, but if your hands are like this, or like this, or just if you're trying to do some sexy, emotive stuff around your face, keep them relaxed. Keep them like your ballerina or gypsy dancer. Keep your fingers together. Definitely try avoiding claw hands. I know so many agents that hate claw hands and it just does not look good and professional. And this is actually something that I really struggle with for the first couple years of my modeling. And I can see new models all the time because they have pictures like that. Don't worry, you'll get better. You just have to be aware of it. And like I said, as time goes on, this is all gonna become very natural. Finally, just make sure if you're trying to hit those very high fashion poses, they're gonna be a little bit more awkward. They're gonna be interesting and artsy. Um, I'm not as strong at high fashion modeling as I am at catalog and glamour modeling. Um, but keep in mind, like you wanna have tension in your body, but not so much that you're made out of stone or that you look uncomfortable. And finally, if you're doing glamour modeling, keep in mind that a little pop of the booty, a little arch of the back is gonna be very flattering, but make sure to keep that stomach sucked in. So next is to be mindful of your outfit and your surroundings. So if you are modeling clothing, for a job or for a photo shoot, be mindful of what the outfit is doing. Be mindful of any details that you have that need to be shown. Make sure that your bra is sticking out as best you can. Sometimes the outfit might not fit you very well. So if you have any clips or anything with that, you gotta be very careful to not let that become apparent in the photograph. Um, also, um, you wanna kind of make sure that your posing is appropriate for wherever you are. So say you're going to the movies with your friends. I'm just kind of jumping to real life now. Don't just pose for all your pictures like this. This is like the classic hands on hip, like 80s cheerleader pose. 
and it gets really old and it gets really redundant and I mean think about it how many girls have you seen on social media and they're all like this I mean come on guys it's it's kind of high school and juvenile so I'm guilty of it I admit it just try to be natural guys uh, leave your hands down uh, straighten this leg and kind of put your weight on that leg just I don't know put your arm around your friend put your hand on their shoulder um, you don't always have to look like you're trying to pose if it's for something that's very casual and candid. All right, last and not least is be comfortable. As hard as that sounds, I know that it's just you and that camera lens, but it's a real person behind that camera lens. They're more focused on the actual, you know, layout of the photo, how you're centered, what's behind you and stuff like that. So. They're looking at you through that little viewfinder, but they're not like looking like right at your face, like, oh, that expression sucks or anything like that. Be you. Um, one thing that I can suggest is do a little bit of a warm up period. Whenever I do a photo shoot, I notice that it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to get warmed up. So say you're gonna do a photo shoot with a professional photographer for your portfolio or just for your husband or whatever. Don't pick your favorite outfit to be the first outfit because you wanna give your you want to give yourself time to get warmed up. So yeah, and also guys, if you're 21 and over, have a shot. Honestly, I can't tell you how many times I did a photo shoot where I was just so nervous and so worked up and tense, and you can see it in my pictures, and I had one shot of tequila or vodka or whatever, and I was just like, you know, the next Victoria's Secret angel. All right, girls and guys, I hope that you found this video informative. We definitely covered the basics for posing. This is a very extensive topic and we covered the very, very basics. So if you wanna see something that's a little bit more specific, like how to model high fashion stuff or how to be a glamor model or anything like that, please put your suggestions in the box below. Please thumbs up the video if you liked it. I really hope that you did. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, you can find us facebook.com slash AMI Clubwear. Our Instagram and Twitter handle is at AMI Clubwear. And my personal Instagram is at Alexia Cortez with a Z. So again, if you have any questions or just anything you want to say, pop it in the box below. We'll see you next time. Love you guys.